Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to set up PSPICE to simulate with MATLAB and Simulink. So in ORCAD Capture, start a new project. Go to File, New Project, and then we'll call it COSIM. You want to create an independent folder for it. So we'll just call this folder COSIM. Then select the folder. Enable piece by simulation and click OK. Choose to create from a blank project, then click OK again. Next, we want to set up a simple circuit to simulate in Simulink and see how it performs within a larger system, not just in PSPICE. So we need to place PSPICE components that can be simulated. We would go to Place PSPICE Component, place a PSPICE Ground, Escape. Then we can do place a piece by component that would be a resistor. We'll place two resistors here. Then place a sinusoidal voltage source. Go ahead and place that sign source. And then we're going to use the right mouse button to zoom in. Now I'm going to place some wiring to connect this circuit. Wire it together. The amplitude I'll set to say 10 volts. Frequency will be 60 hertz. And I will just ignore these other parameters. Next, let's go ahead and uh, next I'm going to set up a piece by simulation profile. So go to piece by new simulation profile. We'll call this transient and hit enter to create the profile. I want to go for about 0 0.3 seconds, so 300 milliseconds. And I'll set my maximum step size to about one tenth of that, or even one one hundredth of that. Click apply, then OK. Next, we need some probes. So go to P Spice markers and voltage differential. We're going to test the voltage on the output across this resistor. And I will name the node out. So go to place net alias out. Just so it's easy to detect during simulation. Go ahead and do P spice run. And we have a net listing error. I'll set the V off to zero for the offset and then attempt the run again. All right, it is simulating and that looks good. I think I will adjust this to 50 milliseconds. So we'll go to P Spice, edit simulation profile, and we'll set this to 50 M for milliseconds. And here we'll go with 1 M for the maximum step size. Click OK. We'll run the simulation again, and it looks a bit smoother. Next, we want to go to Tools, MATLAB. Make sure you set your MATLAB path. That would be in this folder here, wherever you have your MATLAB software installed. Click OK. Once that is set up, choose Tools, MATLAB, Co-Simulation. All right, so MATLAB has started. Let's go ahead and create a Simulink model for the circuit. We'll choose Simulink, create a blank model. Now, instead of using the voltage source from ORCAD Capture and PSPICE, I'm going to set my own source. This will be the sine wave. So you can just start typing sine wave in MATLAB or Simulink. Double click on this. This will be our new source, not the voltage source from ORCAD Capture. For the amplitude, I'll choose 5. For the frequency, we'll go with 60 radians per second or 60 hertz. And I'll set the sample time to one tenth of this. So take the inverse of it and put it in time. So 0 0.0016667. Apply, then OK. 
Next, I'm going to place a piece splice block. So go to the library browser and the piece splice block is here. Now we could have typed in piece splice block on the screen, but I just wanted to show you this other way you can do it. Make the connection. Now we need an oscilloscope. So let's type in oscilloscope or scope rather. And we'll place this here and make the connection. Now this piece spice block is supposed to model the circuit, but you won't be able to double click on it and get the model until you save your design. So do a control S to save. And we'll just call this cosim. Save it in your design here. Then double click this piece by block. We're going to use the circuit from our design. Mine is already loaded, but I'll just show you the process. You navigate to the OPJ file, double click it, and it will automatically load the different piece by simulation profiles. We only have one set up in piece by, so that's what pulls up here, transient. I can use the piece by simulation profile or a customized simulation profile. I'll just go with customized by default. It says input sources. I will select it as V1, but our real input source on this design is actually the sine wave. And for outputs, yes, I do want to look at V out and see how that behaves. Click OK. So how does the resistor network behave in when it has a sinusoidal input? It should behave just like it did in P Spice and Orchid Capture. So I'm going to run this for one second. Hit run, double click on the oscilloscope output, and voila. It looks just like the output from the original design in Orchid and P Spice.